sticky, pretty gooey. Hold on, hold on. No. Right. <laughs> pretty sticky, pretty gooey oatmeal cereal, right? Yeah, that's pretty sticky and gooey. And now what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to put these medical grade enzymes, like I said before, they're full spectrum and they're highly active enzymes. Do you want to say it again? I think we should put this one up because we didn't get a chance to do this one, did we? That's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I've done it we're capturing, we're capturing Dan the man. Oh, yeah. Um, if rebounders are so amazing, wouldn't just a big, gigantic trampoline be even better? I'm not going to say better, just, it, 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 just it, either way. As long as you're phew, bouncing up and down. It, that, more it's, fun. It's, it's more fun. You can do some, you can have some fun on those big ones. Yeah. But either one does the job. So, okay. yeah. Ready? We're going to capture yeah, Dan the Man capturing Lou Corona for his YouTube channel. Yeah. I don't know about that. This YouTube stuff, I don't know much about that yet. <laughs> yeah, we're not asking all you. I, all I'm saying <laughs> is, is that we're designed to eat raw living foods, enzyme activated foods. We're designed that way. Now, because I've been doing it for many years, it works and it works really powerfully. So I'm not talking about raw foods here, I'm talking about raw living foods. I'm not talking about eating raw nuts and raw seeds. I'm talking about taking the time to soak those seeds, germinate the seeds, activate the seeds, even culturize them. That's what we're going to teach you today, how to make almond coconut yogurt. You can make Brazil nut yogurt. You can make macadamia yogurt, pine nut yogurt, whatever. But here's the thing. Because we've been eating cooked foods for so long over the years, we have become enzyme depleted. So we need to know and understand that Dr. Health, you know, he studied it for 50 years. He's like the granddaddy in enzyme research. But when he talked about how we have to use more of our enzymes to digest our food, our food that we eat, our cooked food that we've been eating, or enzyme deficient food, even if you eat raw food, if it comes from deficient soil, then that's enzyme deficient, right? So you're, you're still going to have to use more of your enzymes to digest even that, more than you remanufacture in the body, which depletes you of enzymes in the body. So Dr. Rahal came up with a concept. He put all his patients on raw living foods, enzyme-rich food, and within months, the diseases went away. But then, you're, then when they went back home, they went back to their old habits. They went back to eating cooked foods, processed foods, whatever, and they started depleting their enzyme levels again, and their diseases came back. So he came up with an alternative. And this is what I'm really excited about, Dr. Rahal. But my friend, who was dying from cancer years ago, he was skin and bones dying. He learned about enzyme therapy, and he cleaned up his, his act, and within four to five months, his cancer was completely gone. His weight came back, and he looked great. And he's still alive today, many years later. So I'm pretty impressed. Watch this. So <clears throat> I'm going to do a little demonstration for you. This is just sticky oatmeal cereal, right? You can see it's pretty sticky. Right? Yeah. So I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop these. These are plant-based, full-spectrum, highly active enzymes. And I'm going to put it in here. They're just veggie capped. If I can even separate the spoon from the oatmeal. Hey, like I said, I'm not a cook. I'm a raw chef. I never learned how to make oatmeal, literally. <laughs> In fact, I. What do I do with my little pouch? Oh, it's not here. Yeah, I made this oatmeal. Go figure. I know now better. Was it instant oatmeal or was it regular rolled oats? Instant oatmeal. It was actually rolled oats that was just broken up a little bit, yeah. smaller pieces. Yeah. And the thing is, is that what, what's happening is that we've been eating all this cooked food over the years, right? And and we've been robbing and stripping our enzyme levels from our bodies for many years, and we don't know. We don't. We don't know any better than we're, we're, we're doing that. Yeah. See, so it's starting to loosen up already, right? So once the enzymes got a little bit of moisture in them, they activate it. And now they're doing their job. Their job. These plant enzymes are plant source enzymes. They're full spectrum. There's a lot of proteases in here that break down proteins into amino acids. A lot of lipase in here that breaks down fats into fatty acids. Lipase enzymes in here that break down the carbohydrates into glucose. But see, protein, carbohydrates, and fats, they don't do you any good when they go inside you unless you break them down into amino acids 
glucose and fatty acids. Then your body can use this, this fuel so you can burn it. And now you can convert this into energy, muscle, hair, skin, bones, make more enzymes, hormones, and that kind of thing. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. So we need to master the art of digesting everything that we eat so we can assimilate it, utilize it, metabolize it, convert it into energy. Muscle, hair, skin, bones, make more metabolic enzymes, make more hormones, and run your whole system. So you can have what they call cellular integrity. And you'll notice, can you, you have another glass over here somewhere? Grab one of those glass, yeah, grab one of those for, for him, Oshun. So Lou, these enzymes are like a tool for the modern man who's been eating cooked food and they're just enzyme depleted and that's creating like diseases, overweight and all kinds of conditions. Oh my gosh, you know, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but the country, our country is so constipated. We have, we have so many people suffering with constipation because they're, they've been eating so much cooked food over time, depleting their enzyme levels in their body, they have become enzyme deficient. And they become so enzyme deficient to the point where they cannot digest everything. They're not completely digesting all the proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Therefore, they're putrefying, fermenting, and acidifying the body, which attracts parasites, viruses, bacteria, and yeast. These little critters live on this, this dead waste, this undigested material, and when they live on it, they go to the bathroom inside you. And when they go to the bathroom, their, their, their excretions are very, very toxic, very poisonous, very smelly, very acidic. It makes the body very acidic. Everybody that suffers out there has an acidic condition going on. That's why these little enzymes is the wave of the future. Because these little enzymes, now you're not going to buy probably the ones in the health food store. You're going to want to get these high-tech enzymes. Because these are really high-end, high-quality, full-spectrum. They work under a broad pH range of 2 to 12, which is incredible. But the thing is, when you take five of these right before you eat, it's going to help mix, put the enzymes back into your food that you cooked out of your food, or maybe you're, because you're getting, you're, you're getting enzyme-deficient food from the soil, like myself. I eat all raw living foods. I eat nothing cooked for many years. But the thing is, I still take enzymes every time I eat. You know why? Because the food, is, the organic food in the U.S. is running 25 to 75 percent enzyme and mineral deficient. That's why. Now, you know these enzymes have been working while we're talking, right? So you can see that even though the, in, the oatmeal is is, uh, is sticky and gooey, it's almost like a making a, a what is what do they call that stuff? You put Pancake between, or something? Between yeah. the stuff you put between bricks that call oh, mortar. Oh, plastic. Mortar. Uh, mortar. 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 Yeah, yeah. Th this was like mortar. Yeah. Do you know that if I'd have taken the sticky oatmeal syrup that you cooked up and threw it up against that ceiling, yeah. it would have stayed there for 100 years. Thousands. <laughs> Maybe thousands. <laughs> I'm telling you. I mean, they use oatmeal as to, to put up wallpaper. Yeah, it's yeah. a true story. But see, these enzymes, you see how I broke it down? Mm -hmm. You see, that's what we want to do. We want to maximize our ability to digest everything we eat so we can break it down into micronutrients so we can actually deliver it into the cells. And then, and then go through the whole system, you know, absorbing it and utilizing it. So then when it goes out to the other end and it comes out of the body, you end up with a soft, easy elimination with a faint odor. You don't end up with this dark, uh, and, you know, see, what happens with most people, they only partially digest what they eat. You see, some people are digesting 50% of what they eat or 30% no. or 60%, whatever. And I can tell by looking at the blood. And how, how much they're processing and, uh, and not, you know. But what's interesting, though, is that the millions of people out there are only partially digesting. So some of the stuff, some of the proteins, carbohydrates, are actually getting digested and processed. But the, the portions of the undigested proteins, carbohydrates, and fats that are not getting digested properly and completely and broken down, it is putrefying, fermenting, and acidifying. It is attracting parasites and viruses and bacteria and yeast. The thing of it is, when they go to the bathroom and it comes out, not all of it comes out. Some of it stays behind and causes all kinds of havoc. But whatever does come out, it's not soft, easy, formed, floating, semi-floating, uh, faint odor eliminations. It's more like darker, harder, darker. It sinks and it stinks so dang bad that when people go to the bathroom after they left, they go, oh my God, you know, what died? You know, it's, it's so severe, it's so evil, it's so <laughs> It's so ungodly, like it's just unbelievable. It just, but you see, what you need to know is that when you go into a bathroom and somebody has this 
this putrid, this evil 